I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware for WiseNet cameras using the WiseNet device manager. This tool will let me update cameras in bulk, it'll let me check if I need an update, and it'll also do the firmware downloading as well. So I don't need to bother going to the website and figuring out where to download the files from. So we're going to start by clicking the search button. It should discover your cameras and display them for you. If you didn't discover your cameras, you might need to check your network adapter on the bottom left in case you have multiple network adapters, wired, wireless, things like that. You might need to right click on the network adapter you want to use and choose enable. After a few moments, there'll be a star next to the adapter that is selected and then you can hit search again. If they don't show a login status OK, that means you have a password issue. You can go up to Credential and enter in the password for the camera. You can select the cameras one at a time or multiple cameras. If you have an NVR, it will show Ready, and then you just need to hit the Login button on the right-hand side, tell it yes, you want to force a login, and then it will log in and show you your status. From there, we're going to select all the cameras. We're going to go to FW or Firmware and Firmware Status Check. That's going to go out onto the internet and check what the latest firmware is. And it's going to show me that three of my cameras need a firmware update. So what I can do next is go to Firmware and Firmware Upgrade. And this is where, if I downloaded the firmware from our website, I can click the File Open button and I'd be able to browse to a specific file. But we can also hit the download button. It's going to show me a list of all the firmware for all the different models. You can sort, so I can sort by the devices in my uh, searched list here, and you can see there's the model that I need right there. You can also click the filter and type in specific model numbers if you're looking for a specific firmware to download. And it'll show you which cameras belong to which series or which family which firmware file is the latest. If you wanted to download multiple firmware files, you can hold the control or shift key on your keyboard to select multiple files. In this case here, I'm just gonna download this one firmware file. I'll hit the start button. And it should only take a few moments to download that firmware. It's gonna download it into this folder here. It will include the firmware release notes so if you want to see what was changed in the firmware, you can always open up that README file. Once it says it's been downloaded, we can hit close. And now it lists the right firmware file there. So it's going to update these three cameras of this model with that firmware. When I'm ready, I can hit upgrade and it will start. By default, it's going to update up to 16 cameras at a time in parallel. You can change it to a lower number or to sequential if you don't want to have that many cameras going down, rebooting, updating at one time. Sequential will update the cameras one at a time. And it will show you a status message here that we're transferring the firmware, shows you a percentage, and it will take a couple minutes and it will be done. You can always update to the latest firmware that it displays. You can downgrade in most cases if you had a reason to do that, but typically you can just use the firmware that it offers. And when it's done, you'll see it will say wait. That means it finished sending the firmware to the camera. The camera is now rebooting. And so we just need to wait another minute for that to finish, and then we'll be good to go. And now you can see it's finished, and you'll see it lists the old firmware version here and the new firmware version over here. If you're updating more than 16 cameras, let's say you have 100 cameras to update, the first 16 will start to update. As each camera finishes the update, then the next one in the list will then start and keep going through, updating up to 16 at once by default.